Hi, Rick Roslin here, and today we're going to be talking about engineering and the design process. You know, almost everything in your home and at work and at school was designed by somebody. And they usually were trying to either solve a problem, come up with a better solution, or answer a question. And we call that the design process. And there's a lot of different ways to do it. But basically, you have a problem, or you want to do some research, and then you think about a plan, and then you think about the criteria, or you know how big, how small, how much does it cost, what materials you can use. These are things that we all do when anything is being built, from my glasses to my shoes, and today to building a bridge. And so this engineering process is kind of fun. We have a problem. We want to build a bridge. Now, if you thought about bridges, you probably go across a lot of bridges every day. There's bridges across roads, there's bridges across rivers, across parts of the ocean. There's even bridges that were built that put water to go across the river, like in ancient Rome. So bridges are everywhere, but you need to think about how they were made. In fact, you're gonna make a bridge today with some simple materials, some tape, some cups, some paper, and something to test your bridge. Because in the design process, once you come up with your plan and make your drawings and you know your materials, you build a prototype. Now, a prototype, then you wanna test it. And really, you kinda hope it fails because you learn when it fails. Because you take your prototype, you test it. When it fails, you improve it, you fix it, you add to it. And then what do you do? You test it again. And you continue that cycle of test, improve, test, improve, until you're happy with the final product of your prototype. And then you share your ideas. And that's what we're gonna do today with Build a Bridge. Let's take a closer look. Here are two graphic examples of the design process. Here, ask, imagine, plan, create, improve for your prototype. I kind of like this one. Have a question, do the research, plan your materials, build a prototype, test the prototype, fix or change it, test it again, and share what you learned. Whatever version you use, it's all about coming up with a prototype and then testing it. Okay, so what I've done here is I got a piece of paper and this is Bull Shark River. You don't want to fall in Bull Shark River. And I have two pieces right here, two cups that I've taped down. I'll finish taping this one down. And these are going to be our supports or, you know, our, uh, our pylons that we're going to build. And this is the road that's coming up over it. And so we have a road <laughs> and we have two supports, but we have no way to get across here. You don't want to fall inside of Shark River. So let's tell you what, um, let's try a flat piece of paper. This is kind of like a, um, a bridge. Now look, we got it right here, flat piece of paper. Okay, let's test this flat piece of paper. It's kind of like a beam bridge. And if I put this on here, fail. <laughs> flat, not even too good. Uh, what if I curl it in a, into a cylinder like, uh, like this one right here? Let's see if changing it just by a cylinder, let's see what will happen. Ready? One, two, three. Wow, it's a lot stronger, that shape. So materials and shape make a difference in the design process. Pretty cool. Cylinder, strong. Let's try a different shape. All right, and this one is a triangle, which is used in a bridge called a truss bridge. Now, I'm going to have a hard time getting... Uh, this cup on here, but I can see some of my 1,000 grams, 2,000 grams, 3,000 grams triangle working well. So these are this is all part of the research before you build a prototype. Triangle's good, round's good. You know, what about a zigzag? Here's a zigzag. You can see a zigzag, and I'm going to put it right here. Let's see what happens. This could be a problem. Ready? One, two. Oh, it's a little wobbly, but I can start adding the 1,000 gram masses. 1,000, 2,000, <laughs> 3,000. Wow, that's pretty good, but it is kind of wobbly. A problem to think about, to write down. Hmm, you know, this reminded me of something that I uh, we all have around the house, which is a uh, cardboard. If you take a look at the cardboard, it almost looks like a zigzag with a cover. 
And so I made some homemade cardboard, which has a zigzag and a cover. Let's put that there and see what happens. Here comes my first mat. Oh, pretty, oh, a little slippery. Okay. Add a mass, add another mass, add another mass, and another mass, and another mass. It looks like this might be a really good design to add to my prototype. Before you build your prototype and test it, you might want to look around the world to see how other people have built bridges. Do a search. It's kind of cool. And you also may want to take a look at the different type of bridges. Now, what you see right here are several different types of bridges. We have the beam bridge, the arch bridge, the truss bridge, and the suspension bridge. Whatever design that you use, make sure you test it, improve it, and test it, and have some fun. Hmm.